fun news. Breakfast Television is celebrating its 25th anniversary and City and West Jet Vacations invite you to share your different Disney sides for a chance to win a five-night vacation for four to the Walt Disney World Resort in Florida. If you want to enter, go to breakfasttelevision.ca and complete the entry form by submitting a photo of your classic Disney side. You could be flying away with WestJet to the Walt Disney World Resort for Disney magic and fun. I'll be there. You'll be there. It'll be a ton of fun. There's going to be a live breakfast television show and a live City Line show so from the park. It is always a good time. And I mean, we had a blast on the weekend. We went there to shoot some tape. Best weekend ever ahead of time. <laughs> we always have a good time. You always bring the shtick, and I love you for it. I love you oh, for I'm it. It's so good. This time for You're sure. so sticky. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about, uh, and this is a weird segue, light bulbs. Bing! Bing! We had an ideas. idea that we would talk about light bulbs. Mm. Light bulbs have actually come a really long way. A huge way. Really, they have. And the one thing to actually note, and one of the reasons why I wanted to talk about it today, is because there's stricter regulations that just took place at the beginning of this year. Okay. So the biggest thing is that the good old light bulbs that we know yeah. from back in the day, these are no more. They're literally oh, no they're more. Gone. We've been talking about the regulations for a long time. Yeah. At this point in Canada, the good old um, screw in what we would think of the good old Thomas, Thomas Edison bulbs. Yeah. No more. Uh, they're not being shipped to Canada anymore. They're oh, not wow. being manufactured. So if you want them, you probably have a matter of weeks to grab them. But why would you want them when there's so much new technology in the marketplace? Okay. So here's, here's the rundown. I went out to Home Depot on the weekend. A package of four mm -hmm. was three bucks and change. Yep. You compare that to a $12 bulb right. and you think four bulbs, the price difference, why wouldn't you want to go with this? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. This little guy, this is one of Philips' new bulbs. First of all, LED. Mm -hmm. The technology's come such a long way that look at it. It looks like a traditional bulb. It's not all like funky and weird like super tech as they used to be a few yeah. years ago. The price has dropped dramatically. And a few years ago, these were about 40 bucks, $12. They were 40 bucks. They were $40 when they first came, out? Oh, came out. So now they're about 12 Yeah. But you hold this, and okay. we do the comparison. So we're at 12 and $4. But the biggest difference is this one's going to last you about 25 years, mm. 25000 thousand hours this one about a thousand hours right so really this is the comparison that we need to make ah, one bulb is one the LED same as all equals of about 25 Got and this it. is 25 times you're changing the light bulb 25 yes. times that these are going into the waste bin right so really this is the smarter investment not to mention over its lifespan mm -hmm. this is going to save you about hundred and thirty dollars oh, in great. electricity so we're saving this was over twenty five dollars to yes. twelve dollars now Big difference. And a big waste. And the hundred and thirty five going into landfills. Exactly. That's amazing. So LED is where it's at, but there yeah. are some people I have to say, I'm not sure why, but they still dig their CFLs, right? The okay. compact fluorescents. The biggest thing to note with these babies is, yes, they do contain very small amounts of mercury in them, so you have to dispose of them properly, mm -hmm. right? So you want to check with your municipalities for the yeah. waste management, because a lot of times you have to take them to a drop-off center. Please do not just throw these in the garbage. No. But the nice thing with these ones, these are by Phillips. You'll notice, if you can see inside, there's the coiled CFL, yeah. but they've gotten really smart for those who do want the CFL bulbs. They put this plasticized shell. So if it does break, I asked you before the segment if you wanted to let her rip and crack it. You can go for I'm gonna it. I'm going to do you it. Want. Are you okay? I'll do okay, it with you. Okay, so they if they break, they're safe. See? Look, it's did all it break? inside. Yes, it did. It's all inside. So now you so can still protected. take this to your waste management center yeah. and you're totally protected from cleanup in the shattered pieces. Amazing for kids and there are LEDs with the same idea out there. Very smart. But I also love that so many LED bulbs now are actually just plastic. Oh, you can't break look? them even if you try to that break is, them. That's cool. These are really amazing. Still so, the right shape though. Exactly the right shape. Now I have one quick question for you yes. before we keep going here. Wattage, 60 watt, 40 yeah. watt. Do you think that wattage denotes the brightness of a bulb? Yes, I thought it did. It doesn't. What is it's it? It's actually the amount of energy that that bulb uses. Oh, so that's okay. why now when you're shopping for LEDs, our kids will never know 60 watt, 40 watt. They're mm. only going to know the 9 watt because that's actually, it's we're referring to the brightness as lumens. So oh. a, a 60 watt LED actually only uses 9.5 watts of power. I didn't realize which that. Which is kind of awesome, right? Okay, I did not know that. We're, and that's where your cost savings comes. And then the biggest thing to think about yeah. is just the color temperature because we've talked about this before the yeah. type of bulb you pick really reflects in your room and will change the mood and the coloration okay very good very well, thanks important. to Phillips everyone will receive this warm glow dimmable LED it's light right bulb here. after the show <laughs> warm one. very nice
starting to get a little bit warm, uh, we thought let's talk a little bit about when you are fixing up the house. A lot of us have un undergone renos. I know you're all in the middle of something or the other right they now. They never end. They never <laughs> end. I know, not on my street. Roger, you just finished a reno? Or yeah, you're we have four daughters, so one is a year and a half. We wanted to get a room for her, so we took a closet. It's a, it's a big closet, and we yeah. turned that into a room. You turned the closet into a room? Yeah, we turned the closet into a room and okay. part of our room into our closet now. So part of your room is your closet, and then the old closet is her room. Yeah. And so did you, is there a window in there for her? We're having a Harry Potter moment, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Potter, I'm just right? checking. Going under the stairs. No, That's no. a smart yeah, idea. Yeah, no, there's a window in there, everything. We've built a little closet in her room. Oh, I yeah, like that. Yeah, it's good, it's good. It turns out good. Okay, Carson, what are you doing right now, Renault-wise? Well, I'm so excited because a new study just came out from Remodeling Magazine, and the top five ROI renovations for your home mm -hmm. are all outdoors. So outdoors, uh, passing uh, kitchens and bathrooms again, so I'm very excited. So yes. for me this year, and don't laugh, yeah. I'm putting in a chicken coop. No, I'm, I'm not yeah. laughing. A I lot have, of people kind of are doing yeah. it. Yeah. Are you doing, yeah, yeah. She's laughing. So I spent $50 on chickens and yes. $2,500 on chicken coop. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect, right? So are you allowed to have chickens where you live? Where my second home, like yes. I have a, an away home, yeah. we have, we're allowed to have chickens. Okay, because that's the problem in our neighborhood. Some people have chickens and we're not allowed to have chickens. Leanne. But it's nice to have those eggs. <laughs> Right? Those it's fresh eggs, right? How about you, Reno Wise? Really, really Everything. quick, because they're saying stop talking. Everything. <laughs> Everything. Never Me ends. too. It never ends. Thanks for watching City Lines.